Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. It is a bit of a rainy day today, but we haven't gotten enough rain to fill up my cube yet. We only got just a little bit of rain, but hopefully tonight it's going to rain good and hard and hopefully fill up my cube. Today I'm going to be working on this Premna. I got this at the Toronto Bonsai Society Spring Show and Sale. So I've got to do the first steps of transforming this, what I'd call a pre-bonsai, into more of a bonsai. So I'm going to begin with the roots as always. So let's go in and have a look at these surface roots and then I'll decide what I'm going to do. Here's a look at the root base and I'll, I'll spin it around so you can see it kind of has undercut here. The trunk doesn't flare out at the root base and it has a root that goes off on a funny angle. It's got sort of an aerial root sticking out here. The root base certainly looks better on this side of the tree. But yeah, out the out the back here, or the what could be the back, it's quite strange. So I'm going to have to pull it out of the pot and see what's going on with the roots. Premnons do grow roots really easily and quickly. So I should be able to do some major root correction if it's necessary. So I'll start by getting the tree out of the pot and we'll have a look at the roots and then decide what course of action to take. All right, I'm going to loosen the pot up first. I don't think the tree's tied into the pot. It doesn't look like it. So now I'll try getting it out of the pot. There I go. So the soil is just falling apart. So obviously the roots haven't grown into the this new pot yet. And the soil is very wet. It has a lot of organic matter in it. There's some earthworms in here. So I think I need a better draining soil for this tree. So I'll get out the root rake and begin combing out the roots. Let's get out the root rake. begin combing the roots. All right here I go with the root combing. I'll be very careful because this root system doesn't look very strong and it should be. Yeah you can see parts of the roots are just falling away and I think it's because they're too wet. And I haven't actually watered this tree a lot because it has been wet the soil. So the roots in this system, they're a typical nursery root system where the roots have coiled round and round in a pot. And I wish bonsai nurseries would take care of the roots better. Um, I almost hate starting off new trees from pre-bonsai material because you just know the root system is going to be horrible and this is a good example like it's just it's just pure neglect I mean I don't care what the top of the tree looks like but when you get roots like this it's just it's the opposite of what you want in a bonsai that's why I like to start trees from seeds and cuttings and manage their growth throughout the years because you get trees like this and it's just you're working backwards all the time. You're trying to correct, trying to correct like roots like this where they're circling around and crisscrossing and it's just, you know, this is a fairly mature tree. It has a fairly thick trunk and yet the roots are like this. So I'm just trying to get the old soil out from the root system. And this soil, I mean, this soil is great for garden plants. If it's in the ground, it'll drain well in that, but it's not good for bonsai. It holds way too much water. Okay, so I'm going to wash the root system and then we'll come back and have a detailed look at it and begin the corrective action. And this tree, I'll have to rely on the fact that premnas do grow from cuttings and that they grow roots really easily. So be prepared for a lot of root work with this tree. Here's a look at my root system. So you can see the roots have just curled round and round in the pot. 
Um, there's been no rework done at all except I think I saw one cut right here. So I can see some roots that are active, some white roots here that were just starting to grow. So let's let's begin. Um, you know, my goal as always is to create a nice radial root system, evenly balanced and get that beautiful trunk flare to make it look like a mature tree. Uh, a root system like this, I don't know what you could do with it. Um, I mean, if you displayed a root system like that, it's, yeah, it looks like unmanaged roots or a tree that's just been constantly potted up and never had any root work done. So to me, that, that doesn't make a bonsai. Uh, the roots have to be pruned and carefully arranged just like the top of the tree. So let's get out the pruners and do some uh, heavy duty cutting here. All right, here I go on the roots. So I think the first thing, I've got to decide, do I want this to be part of the root base? Like, it's the only part of the tree that does have a bit of flare. So I, I think I do want to keep it but I'm going to have to cut it off quite short, which means, you know, if this is my soil line here, <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I've got a lot of nice roots down low here, so I don't think I can have my soil line up high enough that that flares into the soil. So I got to remove it. It's got to go, even though it's the only part that's kind of, you know, mature root flare on this tree, but it's got to go. It's just too high up. So I'm going to prune it off roughly at first. So here I go. Like that. There goes that part of the root. And now I've got to kind of blend that in. So I'll get out my, my pruners. We'll try the bigger ones here. smooth enough that it'll kind of grow and callus over that area. I'm not sure how well Premnas heal, but I do see, where was that? On the trunk, there's a few scars where branches have been pruned and it looks like they've healed over quite nicely. So I'm hoping, hoping they heal over. This is a new species for me, the Premna. So I'll kind of learn the intricacies of the species as I go if the tree survives this root pruning. So my next big problem is this, this root spiraling around here. Um, I do want to keep this part of the root flare, but I've got to cut basically everything off of that root. So I'm going to come in here and cut it. So here I go. So that is coming off now. I'll have to untangle it from the rest of the roots. A lot of bonsai nurseries, like people that sell pre-bonsais, they always wonder why, you know, people don't, from the clubs, don't buy trees from them. And that's because th this is the reason, because the roots are just like unusable. And, you know, to transfer a tree from this horrible spiral root system to a bonsai root system, there's a lot of risk. And, yeah, so, you, you know, you pay quite a high price for the tree. And then you're taking a huge risk by cutting off almost all the roots, restarting your root system. So that's why, you know, a lot of people do not buy bonsai from pre-bonsai gardens because they just ignore the roots. They would rather buy it from a club member who has done root work on the tree. So here comes the next big cut, taking the rest of that spiral off. <laughs> okay, 
it's pretty tough, this wood. Oh, wow. Okay. I don't think I cut all the way through, but I'm very close. I'm very, very close. Very close. There we go. So there's the rest of the the spiral galaxy coming off. So, you know, I'm basically left with, you know, a cutting almost with a few roots. It's better than a cutting because it does have some roots. And you know, the roots aren't, aren't that bad. There's none, none of them coming out this direction, but there's some roots there. And I think, you know, the tree is in a good place now to grow a good root system. And I think all will be well. Now I've got to, I've got to do a little more correction on this part of the root. I, I just want to shave off the inside here. So I'm going to get my smaller spherical cutters and kind of come in and nibble away part of this root. And I'm hoping off of this bigger root, you know, I get a lot of fine roots coming from the cut points. That's usually what happens on root systems. So hopefully that'll happen here. Okay, so I'll have to bury this tree quite deeply in the soil to keep these roots safely in the ground. Now there's one other root I could prune here. And that's the top off of this one. It kind of goes up and spirals around. So I'm just going to prune the top off that. Yeah. Maybe another one pruned here. Okay. That's got to be it. I think there's enough roots on here that the tree will survive. Hopefully, you know, I won't get dieback on any areas, but we'll see. The top of the tree is, isn't the greatest either. It's got very heavy branches and, you know, it doesn't look, doesn't look very good. However, I think I can use this branch, this thick one here and this one and the top and create kind of a a broom style canopy. This lower one here will probably have to go. And I'm wondering if I should take it off now. Tough decision. <laughs> I said, you know, people don't mow their lawns when it's raining and now I can hear a lawnmower going. Someone's mowing in the rain. Okay, well, I've got to decide about that branch. Do I keep it or do I lose it? So here's the tree and I don't know where the front would be. Anyway, so if I took that branch off, you know, I've got the trunk coming up and dividing into two major branches dividing again which isn't bad I just think if this this lower trunk it's just too horizontal if it was growing upwards it would look okay it would justify the thickness but it's like half the thickness of the trunk and it's low down and it just looks I guess you know I, I'd like a basic the basic structure of the tree to be flowing and this one doesn't flow it comes 290 degrees to the trunk Whereas this one, it's almost flowing. It, it, it's again, a little horizontal, but at least it kind of has a bit of flow upwards to it, especially at the tip here. So I think this one's usable, but I don't think this one is. So I'm going to take it off. So here I go. I'll get as close to the trunk as I can and then do a little more fixing. And Premnas will grow from cutting, so, you know, I probably could root this. 
which might create a quite a nice tree. So now I'm going to come in and clean this cut up, make it nice and flush. So hopefully it'll heal. Again, I don't know how well Premnas heal, but we'll certainly find out. I think well, because there's a scar here where something major has been pruned off and healed over really nicely. But maybe that's old too, who knows. Okay, I think that's good. You can see how it's kind of ah, fairly flush with the trunk. It might kind of create a bulging callus there, but I'm going to grow the tree quite a bit larger anyway. All right, so let's, um, let's plant the tree and I'm thinking it can go back in the same pot, you know, a big pot with nice free draining soil and it can grow that root system this summer. I've got drainage screens in the bottom of the pot, so I'll add a base layer of soil. I think that's a good height to plant the tree. Okay, so it doesn't really matter where the front of the tree is at this point in time. And it's in a round pot, so. I'm going to arrange the roots as radially as I can get them. Kind of getting them to come out, fan out from the trunk. That looks pretty good. Now I can fill it in with soil. I'll plant it quite deep. the tree standing by itself but I will put rocks around it to hold it upright and then I'll put it in the greenhouse and just forget about it and let it grow develop a root system and then you know next year I'll come back and if it looks like it's filled the pot with the roots then we'll tackle the roots again if it hasn't we'll let it grow for another season it should grow quite well in the greenhouse I'm going to fill it up a little more with soil. I think that looks good. So if the tree survives this operation, I think, you know, it'll be a nice tree in the future. We'll get those radial roots going, get a structure. I'm still not sure about this branch, but we'll see. Maybe, you know, if it starts growing with vigor, I can do some major operations up top and get a better structure going on the tree. So my next step is to water the tree and then place rocks on the surface of the soil. All right, here I go with the water. So these Pramnas are a tropical tree. They like warmth humidity so it should grow well in the greenhouse if it survives i'll place some rocks on the surface to hold the tree in place and just help stop surface evaporation get the bug off it pill bug on there so think here so I'll put that right in here I think maybe there like that so that tree is in there really really solid now so that is it that's uh, that is my Premna let's get it on the turntable and we'll rotate it around and maybe 
get some ideas for the future styling of the tree. Before I get the turntable out, I just want to thank Barb again for giving me this tool roll as a present. It's really awesome. I really, really like it. So thanks, Barb. All right, I'll rotate the Premna around so you can see it from all angles. So here I go. So looking at the tree, this kind of here is not a bad front. It does have that big scar that I pruned that branch off, but it's not too bad. It kind of compacts this branch a bit. Shows these branches off nicely, but I don't know. That's just one view. The rest of the, the, rest of the views aren't so good, so... You know, it might be a case of doing some drastic work on this branch. Now, Premnas, they, they do keep deadwood on them. It's one of the few kind of tropical trees that deadwood seems to last. So that's another possibility is to, you know, create some deadwood on this branch. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see in the future if the tree survives. Well, a very disappointing root system on the Premna. But I've taken steps to correct that and hopefully someday turn it into a nice bonsai. That's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone. <music>